Hey, what's up YouTube crew? How you doing? This is Toddy Walnuts coming back with another collection overview video. Today I'm going to do shelf one of my 88 films collection. We're going to go through the Full Moon DVDs, the Slasher Classics collection, and a couple of other little miscellaneous DVDs I have on that shelf. And then in a couple days I'll go through the Italian collection. And then I'll go through some miscellaneous stuff, and then I'll go through the Asia collection at the bottom. We'll do four separate videos. And again, this was a request from a fellow YouTuber. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And we'll get right into it here with the Full Moon collection. These were the first 14 releases that 88 Films put out several years ago before they started producing Blu-rays. And these are all films that Charles Band leased to the company for release. And the first one is Spine One. And this one is called Cannibal Women in the Avocado Jungle of Death. It has the lovely Shannon Tweed as well as Adrian Barbeau. And there you can see the spine. does have some full moon trailers give you a little glimpse at the I'm not going to open them all up I just wanted to show you they don't come with a booklet but they do have art on the disc spine number two the day time ended the mind-bending vortex of terror it's a pretty cool cover definitely the a grindhouse style film a B sci-fi film it was a fun watch I enjoyed it spy number three is called slave girls from beyond infinity Brink Stevens. It has a special feature called Famous TNA from 1982. It's a, it's a bonus film. These all do come with reversible covers. Next one is called Creepozoids, another sci fi drive-in style film. Linnea Quigley is in this one. This one comes with a bonus film called The Film Gore from 1983. These are pretty cool additions and uh, I think they're still available and they're pretty inexpensive to collect these. These weren't very expensive at all. Spine number, let's see it doesn't, oh okay spine number five, it, they have it up a little bit on this one is Dr. Alien, the lovely Judy Landers, and she had a twin sister, and they were both very chesty, and they played in a lot of these uh, low-budget comedies and sci-fi. This one has a bonus film called Auditions from 1978. Spy number six is called Seed People, The Root of All Evil. Those of you who are horror fans and sci-fi fans know everything about um, Full Moon and you know what they, the kind of movies that they put out, so you know what you're in for when you pop these in. This one has some behind the scenes footage and trailers and monsters in rubber suits. Spine number seven is called Beach Babes from Beyond. Hot Tan Alien. It has extended scenes from the unrated version, making of. Spine number eight is called Mandroid. Again, it has a making of. It's 
by number nine is called Laser Blast. I have this one on VHS too. This was, I believe, billed as Cannibal Holocaust 2, and they call it Amazonia, the Catherine Miles story, spine number 10. It has the alternative white slave title. This one is called Beach Babes 2, Cave Girl Island. by number 11. It includes the R-rated version and the unrated version of the film. Spy number 12 is called Shadow Zone. On the dark side of dreams, a new terror takes shape. Spine number 13 is called The Creeps. Bonus film called The Best of Sex and Violence. You also get some trailers and original video zone. And the last one is Spine 14. This one is called Hideous. Deformed, Depraved, Deadly. everything you would expect from a full moon picture. And I mean that in a good way, because I happen to enjoy those. I have to be in the right frame of mind to watch these kind of movies, but they are fun. So now we will get into the Slasher Classics collection. I have number one through 40, and then I have a couple more DVDs at the end, and then we will end the video, and we'll call that shelf one. So the first one is Spine 1 from 1981. This one is called Graduation Day. It also has the documentary Scream Queens, Horror Heroines Exposed, with a 4K transfer. And this is all region. Gotta get a better grip on my phone, it was starting to slip. Okay, spine number two from 1980 is called Mother's Day, the original horror classic. And according to Eli Roth, that is his favorite horror film. <laughs> I, I doubt it, but it is a fun watch. It's not great by any means. And Troma is a lot like Full Moon. Spine number three from 1981 is Don't Go in the Woods. Those of you who follow my channel know that this is a horror film that I really enjoy. I know a lot of people don't, but I'm not trying to change anybody's opinion of the film. I know I will always like this. And this is the 2K scan of the film. Don't Go in the Woods. People like what they like. You can't try to change people. Um, number four is from 1984 and this is called Splatter University. This is a good one. Nice good slasher film. I like that cover. It includes a bonus film called What Really Frightens You by Richard W. Haynes. It also does have some bonus features. It was all region. Spine number five, film from 1987 called Slaughterhouse. Buddy, the farmer's son, who turns butcher. He goes from butchering cattle to butchering people. You can see that there are some good special features there, some interviews and commentary. Next one is Spine 6 from 1988, and this is called Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers. It 
And this one has the one and only Gunnar Hansen in the film there. And Linnea Quigley's workout is also included with this as a bonus. And then you get a bunch of bonus features. Spine 7 from 1985 is called Nail Gun Massacre. I really like this cover too. Movie was so so, right down the middle, I think. Oops, almost dropped it. Spine number eight is called Dead of Winter. This was one that surprised me. I thought it was very good. It's a movie I don't remember seeing back in my VHS days. And I had this in my collection for a while, and somebody mentioned that I should check it out. I don't remember who said it. Somebody here on YouTube. And I took their word for it, and I watched it. It was very good. I was glad to have watched it. So that's a good one to add to the collection. Next one is Spine 9, called The Hospital Massacre. It does have some pretty good special features, bonus features. I think the alternate title is called X-Ray. Let me double check. Yeah, that, yeah, it is. It's X-Ray. It has two different titles, X-Ray or Hospital Massacre. I happen to like this cover a little bit better, so I flipped it. Spine 10, film from 1980, called The Boogeyman. A good horror from the 80s. Spine number 11, this one was a kind of a weird movie, but it was still enjoyable, called Blood Sucking Pharaohs in Pittsburgh. I flipped the cover, I like that one a little bit better. They had a deadly appetite for life. There's the other cover right there. Spine number 12 is called Nightmares in a Damaged Brain from the company that brought you The Hills Have Eyes, film from 1981, if I didn't mention that already. You get a 2K scan for this. And there's what the other cover looks like. But I flipped it. Now this next uh, spine 13, 14, and 15 came in a box set. And this is Stephen King's Children of the Corn tr Trilogy. And I will take those out one at a time and we'll take a look at them. Okay, so we'll first look at the box. Not bad. I mean, it's, it's decent. It is a little soft, but it's still kind of thick. It doesn't have that hard shell case like um, Arrow does or Indicator Powerhouse. But I mean, it's still a nice, decent slip box for the films. And let's see here. We'll go in order. I got the first one here is Children of the Corn, the original, which is a very, very good film. One of my favorites from my childhood. There you can see Isaac on the left, and uh, I don't see Malachi on the back. But it has a bunch of special features there that you can see. And then we have part two, The Final Sacrifice. And it's spine 14, and the film came out in 1992. There you can see. I forgot what that Indian's name was. I didn't want to spend too much time looking on the back for his name. And then here's part three 
called Urban Harvest, Spine 15, film from 1995. And again, these are fun films, but they're not anywhere close to part one as far as I'm concerned. But they were still fun watch. So that was the Children of the Corn trilogy. Part 16, or number 16 from 1988, is called Scarecrows. Uh, I thought the film was decent. It could have been a little bit better. It was okay. Scarecrows. 17 is called Sleepaway Camp 2, also known as Nightmare Vacation 2. I like that cover, so I flipped it. And you can see that they were really borrowing hard on the Jason Voorhees and Freddy Krueger and the Texas Chainsaw. Again, part two wasn't as good as the original, but it was still a fun watch. Sleepaway Camp 2, and then here's Sleepaway Camp 3, Teenage Wasteland. Film from 1989. Spine number 19 is called Scalps. I enjoyed this one. I like the atmosphere in this movie. It was always kind of set in a, uh, it was always dark when all the good stuff happened. Spine number 20 from 1977 is called Drive-In Massacre. I flipped that cover. I like that cover a lot. Has a bonus television cut of the film. It was only 61 minutes. So they must have cut a lot of stuff out. Because uh, the actual running time is 74 minutes. So they cut a good 13 minutes out for TV. Spine 21 is called Double Jeopardy. Also called Prozzi. There's the alternative cover. I flipped it. Get some pretty good uh, bonus features. And this one does come with a booklet. I'm not going to open it up though. Actually, maybe I will just to see. Some of these did come with booklets and some didn't, but I didn't have time to open them all up. I didn't want to make this too long. But if there's something you guys want to see, leave a comment below and I can add it to another video. Lou Diamond Phillips in The First Power, Spine 22, film from 1990. I have this a couple different times. I know Scorpion released this on a Blu-ray as well in the U.S. I have not even opened this copy, but I have seen the film. Lou Diamond Phillips chases a serial killer who won't die. He's uh, immortal because he supposedly made a pact with the devil. Now here's where the slip covers start to come in. This is number 23 from 1989. This is Intruder. I didn't flip it. Usually I flip it and put the other cover on the inside. This is a fun film. It says it also includes Slice and Dice, the Slasher Film Forever, Complete History of Mad Maniac Movies. It's a 75 minute featurette. Number 24 is Mountaintop Motel Massacre, which has recently been put out by Vinegar Syndrome. This is number 24 from 1986. This one was limited. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that because it kind of, the white kind of washes out, but it does say 0838. I think it may have been limited to 1,000 for the slipcover, but I'm not exactly sure. Not 100%. Here's num number 25 called Return to Horror High. Film from 1987. And George Clooney was in this film. There's George right there. Spine 26 is called Hide and Go Shriek. Close your eyes, count to 10, and run for your life. 
It says it's in the terrifying tradition of Friday the 13th and Halloween. But it falls short if you compare it to those, but it's still a fun watch. Spine number 27 from 1981 is Just Before Dawn. That's a cool cover. I don't know if I flipped this one or not. Let's take a look. Here's the other artwork. Okay, and this is a movie I very much enjoy, Just Before Dawn. Happy Hell Night. Spine 28 from 1992. They'll be screaming their heads off. Tonight, the party animals of Phi Delta Kappa will raise more than hell. Here's spine number 29 from 1990 called Luther the Geek. It's another trauma film, I believe. And you do get some really good bonus features here. I don't think I flipped this one. I don't remember. Yeah, I did. It's hard to see with that, that reflection off of there. But uh, that is Luther the Geek, number 29. Number 30 is the Toolbox Murders. I enjoy this one. This is the original, and there has since been a remake. This one was also numbered to 704, but I don't know exactly what it was numbered to. Same cover, I didn't flip it. Spine number 31 is The House on Sorority Row. I had fun with this one too. It's a pretty fun watch, film from 1983. Get some interviews and some commentary. This one was numbered, I got 769. Alternate title of House of Evil. Pretty cool. Very nice addition. Spine 32 is Slaughterhouse Rock. I had fun with this one as well. Has a, oops, there we go, I dropped it. It has a good soundtrack. Let's see if it talks a little bit about that. There's interviews. And this brings me back to my VHS days. But that is Slaughterhouse Rock number 32. Number 33 is called Sweet 16. I'm from 1983. Another good little slasher film. Thirty-four is called Blood Harvest. This has been released by Vinegar Syndrome as well. I still need to pick that one up. I know the slipcover is sold out, so that's going to be a little bit harder to find now. But this is number thirty-four from nineteen eighty-seven. Spine number thirty-five is Alice, Sweet Alice, which uh, Arrow Video is going to be releasing this one next month in August. So I'm looking forward to checking that one out as well. And this is a good film. This is worth double dipping on, in my opinion. If you have this edition, you may want to double dip and get the Arrow. Some of you double, double dip anyway, like me. You don't care. You just buy them all. But some people are a little bit more choosy on how they purchase their films. But this would definitely be worth the Arrow upgrade, from what I hear. 
there's going to be new features and stuff. So this is number 35 from 1976. And there's a young Brooke Shields in this film. That's number 35. On to 36 is Offerings. Christmas slasher from 1989. 37 is called Bad Dreams, film from 1988. When Cynthia wakes up, she'll wish she were dead. It says it's the dual format that includes the collector's slipcase and booklet notes. A little bit of a Freddy ripoff. Number 38 is called Frightmare. I believe this one was also put out by Vinegar Syndrome. I'm trying to see if I have it. This is the Vinegar Syndrome release right here. what the alternate cover looks like. So number 39 is Popcorn. I have this movie a couple different times as well. Synapse put out a really nice steel book a few years ago. from 1991. It's got a bunch of bonus features on it. And number 40 is called Student Bodies. Horror comedy. Film from 1981. So that was it for the Slasher Classics. I have a couple more DVDs to show, but I'll just kind of pan really quick so you guys can see the full moon. You can kind of use this as a reference if you're trying to go back and collect and get all the spy numbers. So I have five more DVDs to show. This one is called The Spanish Chainsaw Massacre. This is the DVD with the slipcover. They will eat your balls. <laughs> and then these last four are from Ted Michaels. The Ted Michaels Collection. This is number one, The Doll Squad. A diabolical man maniac threatens mass destruction. An elite band of sexy assassins is the only hope. Number two is called The Corpse Grinders. The corpse grinders turn bones and flesh into screaming savage blood death.
Number three is called Blood Orgy of the She-Devils. A terrifying screaming plunge to the depths of hell. And the final movie on this shelf is number four called Girl in the Gold Boots. She murdered for fame, but the price tag was too much. So that was shelf one. Thank you for checking out my video, spending a little time with me. I appreciate it. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Stay tuned for Shelf 2 in a couple days. We will go through the Italian collection. And then we'll follow that up with some of the miscellaneous and then the Asia collection. Take care, guys. Thank you for watching. Later.